The Airbus A380 is not just a plane, it's a symbol of human engineering at its most ambitious. Dubbed the Super Jumbo, the A380 is the world's largest passenger airliner, a record holder in both size and luxury. It has flown millions of passengers across the globe and, for over a decade, dominated the skies with its sheer scale and unmatched amenities. But behind its massive wings and towering structure, what makes the A380 so special? Let's take an in-depth look at the story of the Airbus A380, from its conception to its legacy. The Birth of the A380 the A380's origins can be traced back to the early 1990s when Airbus, a European aerospace manufacturer, realized that the global airline industry needed an aircraft capable of carrying more passengers over longer distances. Air travel was on the rise, and airports, especially those in major cities, were facing congestion due to the growing number of passengers. Airbus decided to design a plane that could meet this demand for capacity, while being efficient enough to make long-haul flights profitable. At the time, Boeing's 747 was the undisputed king of large passenger planes, but Airbus envisioned a new class of airliner that would surpass the 747 in both size and comfort. The A380 was born from that vision. In 2000, Airbus officially announced the development of the A380, and production began shortly after. This would be the first commercial airliner to have two full-length passenger decks, unlike the 747, which only had a partial upper deck. After years of design, testing, and innovation, the A380 took its first flight on April 27, 2005. The aircraft was then certified by the European Union Aviation Safety Agency (EASA) and the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, with Singapore Airlines becoming the first airline to operate it in October 2007. The imposing size of the A380 Now, let's talk about the A380's defining characteristic, its size. The A380 is a giant, and there's simply no other word to describe it. The aircraft is 72.7 meters, 238 feet long, making it the longest commercial passenger plane in the world. Its wingspan is a massive 79.75 meters, 261.8 feet, bigger than the length of a football field. For comparison, the wingspan of a Boeing 747 is just 64.4 meters, 211 feet. The height of the A380 is 24.1 meters, 79 feet, which makes it taller than a typical seven-story building. It has a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 1.2 million pounds, 560,000 kilograms, about twice as heavy as the largest commercial aircrafts before it. Inside the A380, you'll find two full-length passenger decks. This dual-deck layout allows for a massive capacity of anywhere from 500 to 850 passengers, depending on the airline's chosen configuration. In comparison, the Boeing 747 can hold around 400 to 600 passengers in a typical layout, making the A380 significantly larger. Power and Performance Despite its size, the A380 is a remarkably capable and efficient machine. It is powered by four Rolls-Royce Trent 900 or Engine Alliance GP7200 engines, each capable of producing about 70,000 pounds of thrust. These engines allow the A380 to reach cruising speeds of around Mach 085, or roughly 560 mmapr, 900 calorie kiln order H. One of the A380's most impressive features is its range. It can fly up to 8,000 nautical miles, 14 to 800 kilometers, which means it can comfortably travel on non-stop routes like Dubai to Los Angeles, Singapore to New York, or Sydney to London. This remarkable range, combined with its large capacity, makes the A380 an ideal aircraft for airlines flying long-haul international routes. Comfort and Luxury – The A380 Experience One of the standout features of the A380 is its luxurious cabin experience. While the A380 is known for its size, it's equally famous for the comfort it offers to passengers, especially in premium cabins. 
Airlines like Emirates, Singapore Airlines and Qantas took full advantage of the A380's capacity by designing world-class cabins with features you simply won't find on other planes. First Class Suites On select airlines, the A380 has first-class cabins with private suites complete with beds, large TVs and even showers. Emirates, in particular, is known for its lavish first-class offerings, which include an onboard lounge where passengers can socialize and have a drink during the flight. Business Class The business class cabins aboard the A380 are similarly impressive, with fully flat beds, plenty of legroom, and large personal entertainment screens. Economy Class Even in Economy Class, the A380 shines. Its wider cabin allows for more comfortable seating, with extra space between seats and a quieter flight experience, especially on long-haul trips. The aircraft's super-quiet engines and smooth ride make it a favorite for passengers flying across time zones. Overall, the A380's design prioritizes passenger comfort, offering an experience that feels more like a luxury hotel than an airplane. On certain routes, the A380 is known for its amenities such as onboard duty-free shopping, bars, and even spa facilities. The challenges of operating the A380 Despite its grandeur, the A380 has faced some challenges in the aviation market. One of the biggest issues is that the plane requires significant airport infrastructure. Not all airports have the gates, runways, or facilities necessary to handle an aircraft of this size, which has limited the A380's use at some airports. Moreover, the A380 is not as economically efficient as some of the newer twin-engine aircraft like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. These newer planes can carry fewer passengers but offer better fuel efficiency, lower operating costs, and more flexibility for airlines. Many airlines have opted for smaller, more versatile jets for medium-haul routes or routes where passenger demand doesn't justify an aircraft as large as the A380. The A380's production and end of line. Despite its iconic status, the production of the A380 has come to an end. In 2019, Airbus announced that it would cease production of the A380 in 2021 due to a decline in demand. This was a tough decision, given the immense cost and effort that went into the plane's development. However, with the shift towards smaller, more fuel-efficient aircraft, it became clear that the market for large four-engine planes like the A380 was dwindling. The final A380 was delivered in 2021 to Emirates, which operates the largest fleet of A380s in the world. While production has ended, many A380s will continue to fly for years to come, with airlines continuing to operate them on high-demand long-haul routes. Legacy of the A380 a lasting icon. Though the A380 may no longer be in production, its legacy is far from over. The aircraft revolutionized long-haul travel, offering a level of luxury and comfort that had never been seen before on commercial flights. Its ability to carry large numbers of passengers efficiently helped airlines reduce costs on busy routes, and its sheer presence in the skies remains awe-inspiring. In a world increasingly focused on efficiency and smaller planes, the A380 stands as a monument to the golden age of aviation. It's a reminder of an era when the ambition to build the largest, most luxurious aircraft was the driving force behind innovation. The Giant of the Skies The Airbus A380 will always be remembered as a true giant in the history of aviation. While it may have faced challenges in terms of economics and infrastructure, it remains one of the most impressive feats of engineering in the world. It redefined what passengers can expect in terms of comfort and luxury during long-haul flights. And for aviation enthusiasts, it will always be a symbol of ambition and innovation. As the A380 continues to soar across the skies in the years to come, it's clear that this super jumbo will always have a special place in the hearts of aviation lovers everywhere.